How's it going? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, it's going to be a little different one. I'm going to be working on a machine that I've never even seen before or know anything about. So I'm going to go out there and see what I can find. Let's do some work. This video is sponsored by RLS, original, patented, proven, and by Diversitech, helping you simplify your work. Yeah, so the little red button is saying that it's a low water fault. Okay. So it lights up in the case of, the, of a low water fault. Yeah. And then you can switch it on again by pressing the button. Yeah, that's happening. All right, so I pretty much had no idea what I was doing on this one, uh, which is fine because the customer knows that this is not my normal thing to work on. They just wanted me to look at it anyway because they trust me. So, uh, and I'm always up for a challenge, but um, in a nutshell, it looks like this system is not having any issues until it's under full load. And I did try to stick around to um, emulate that again with under full load, but it just, nothing was working, or I'm sorry, nothing was failing. It was just running smooth. And they're only having a problem intermittently. It's not happening all the time. Um, so anyhow, if you didn't know what, what I was working on, obviously it's a printing press and it's a chiller that cools the, the, the ink head, and then um, I can't remember what the other one was called, but basically it chills the water that goes through the printer, comes back and that, that's its job. So um, I didn't want to tap into checking refrigerant pressures or anything like that. It's a sealed system. I didn't notice any leaks anywhere. And obviously it's maintaining temperature currently. This is only a problem we're having every once in a while. So I didn't even dive into putting uh, probes or anything on the system. Uh, just because I don't want to have to worry about, you know, losing any kind of refrigerant whatsoever. Um, but I kind of went through the, the manual that they have, but that was mainly a uh, install manual. It wasn't like a service manual. So I didn't get that much information out of it. But with just my, you know, limited knowledge of kind of how things work, um, I kind of looked through it. I didn't really see any problems. Um, the main thing was there is a hot gas bypass valve and it seemed like it was going in and out of that bypass quite a bit. I don't know like what the set point is or what's controlling that. Uh, we're actually in the process of getting a hold of tech support for that whole machine. So they're going to help us kind of go through it. But 
that's the only thing I really noticed. It was just going in and out of, out of, out of bypass. And obviously when it's doing that, you're losing, capa you're losing capacity at that point. Um, but again, the system is running. It's like right now it's, it's maintaining set point. And uh, I'm assuming, I don't have the sequence of operation, but I'm assuming that's how this system operates. So instead of the compressor just turning on and off, on and off, on and off, whenever it reaches set point, it just um, energizes that solenoid for the bypass. And that's basically how it modulates. So, but again, I'm gonna dive into it more once we get the contact of the tech support, maybe some more literature. Uh, this machine is from Germany, but pretty cool. I, when, when they reached out to me and said, hey, do you wanna come check this out? I was like, yeah, that sounds awesome. I've never touched one of those before. Um, and it sounds like a good challenge, so. And I'm glad that I'm working on it. And hopefully I get the, the support that I need and we end up you know, figuring it out. And uh, cause that'd just be a cool experience and, and having that, uh, that skill under my belt of working on something like that. So it's pretty cool. Obviously it needs to be cleaned. Um, it's pretty dirty. The condenser coil didn't seem uh, that dirty to me. I don't, I don't think that's a problem. There's a manual reset for the high pressure cutout. So that hasn't been a problem. Um, so anyway, that's it for today. Once we get some more information, I'll come back and see what we can figure out. Thanks for being here, and uh, see you on the next one.